Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome back to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at creating Pareto charts in Excel. There's an example of a Pareto chart here on this worksheet. So uh, I've taken some sample data and I've created this Pareto chart based uh, upon it. Effectively, a Pareto chart is a sorted um, column chart. So what have we got here? I've got a list of uh, various European capitals and for each of those capital cities I have got a, uh, a sales figure. Yeah, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to at a glance be able to determine very very quickly uh, which particular capital city contributed to the greatest um, sales figure to the total sales for those various European um, cities for example. So. A Pareto chart is a perfect way of quickly visualizing the data. I'm going to start completely from scratch, prove exactly how easy it is to create one of these things in Excel 2016. I'll delete my original, delete the original Pareto chart. My cell pointer is somewhere in the data, somewhere in my sample data, really doesn't matter where. Click insert. In the middle of the insert ribbon we've got our charts group. Uh, click on the drop down for insert statistic chart and click and select Pareto. As it says from the tool tip there. Let me just move back onto it. Yeah, what does a Pareto chart do? Uh, it shows the relative portion of each factor to the total. So Prague, Rome and so on uh, down through to London show the most significant factors in the data. Again, quickly, easily visualize your data. Click and select, reposition, and, uh, and, and resize. And then start getting into the tweaks that uh, I think will help uh, the visualization of this particular chart. So I'm going to remove, first of all, something very, very simple indeed. I'm going to remove the grid lines, for example. What I'm then going to do using the chart styles button is I am going to select a different style. What I'm also going to do while I'm here is click color and I'm going to choose a monochromatic kind of color scheme that we've got there. Let me just click away so we can see what it looks like so far. A few other little changes that you might choose to make. Um, I'm not so keen on my, uh, my bars being so close together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over one of the bars choose click format data series from the context menu and I'm going to up the gap width to let's have a look at 25 percent 25 percent yeah looking good maybe just a little bit more maybe um, that's 30 percent tab off that to have a look at the effect close down the panel of the pane on the right hand side for the moment and click away yeah looking good uh, potentially your line well, that's a separate element um, of the Pareto chart itself so the Pareto chart is kind of combined composed of two things the bars kind of from left to right from highest to lowest and also then a, a percentage uh, which what percentage kind of contribution they make to the total yeah, from Prague to London for example yeah, so the, the the line and the um, and the bars. I'd like to make the Pareto line maybe a little bit different as far as the color is concerned. So I'm going to make it white, and I'm going to make it a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker, a little bit wider. Close down the pane or the panel, and just click away. One more thing I'm going to do. Of course, the default chart title is literally chart title. I'm going to change that. So I'll highlight it and we can call it something like let's say uh, sales data by city for example click away and there is a Pareto chart in Excel 2016 that's it for me guys uh, do search Optimum Technology Transfer for um, further videos that I've created but as I say that's it for me now goodbye and take care Bye-bye.